Hi guys, Dan Ward here from Ochico Bushcraft. Well today guys I'm going to talk about a survival skill that is often overlooked and that is the survival skill of rappelling. And I'm not talking about rappelling with a harness and having all the gear with you that you might have if you are out rock climbing or rappelling for sport. I'm talking about a real survival situation. Maybe a loved one has fallen down a steep embankment or over some rocks and you need to get down and help them. Maybe there's a forest fire, you know, whatever the reason, emergency repelling is a real skill that could be needed to save your life someday. So uh, Nate Ward from Preparation 101, check out his YouTube videos, is doing the filming today. He's here helping me out. So I wanna start by talking a little about, bit about the gear. What I have on is a riggers belt from 215 gear. It is called the Ultimate Riggers Belt. I have a Mad Rock triple locking carabiner attached right to the belt. And I have 50 feet of static repelling rope. Um, there's also a dynamic rope that is used for rock climbing which has stretch. This is a static rope which has no stretch to it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tie off to this tree right here and I'm going to show you guys a basic knot that I use for tying off. All I do is I make a loop in the rope and then tie it into a knot and pull it through. I'll show you one more time. Just make a loop and tie that loop into a basic knot and pull it tight. And I have hung from a tree by this knot and this knot is a good knot, it will not give. So I'm gonna have to pull my rope up here. I've got it hanging down over the side of a steep hill that I'm gonna climb down. And I'm gonna wrap it around this tree right here. This tree is gonna be my anchor. So 50 feet of this static repelling rope rolls up real nice into a compact bundle about this long, this big around, fits right down in my backpack. I have two of these locking carabiners attached to the outside of my pack, and anytime I'm in the woods, I have on this riggers belt, so my gear is with me. An emergency situation comes, I can get my rope out, tie off, hook up, and get down and get away or help out somebody who may have fallen down. So in order to do this, there's one knot we gotta learn and it's called the Munter knot. Basically, you take your rope and you make a loop just like this and another one identical to it right behind and then turn that one over on top. And I'm gonna lock this into my carabiner one more time. Make a loop. Another one just like it behind, sorry, one here, and another one behind it just behind, and turn them over on top. And I'm going to lock that into my carabiner. And making sure that the gate is away from the rope. The rope will be on this side, over here, away from the gate. So I got, I'm going to be going down, actually this hill goes clear down almost to the bottom of my rope. So this is probably somewhere between a 40 and 50 foot hill. It's not real steep, but it's steep enough that I wouldn't want to go down it without a climbing rope. In order to break guys, let me show you the technique. As I'm going backwards, down here, my rope will pull through. And then when I pull this up, it will break. It will stop. I can totally lean back right now with all my weight and my brake is on. When I put the rope down, the rope will begin to move. I need to stop. I just put it up here and I'm braking. I can relax. I can rest my hand, whatever I need. So with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and start rappelling down this hill. It's 
gonna get steeper as I go.